It was my 30th birthday last month and my boyfriend Joe organised the most perfect day for me. Here's what we got up to. The first big surprise was checking at a hotel I've always wanted to stay in, the Rosewood. It's one of London's most beautiful and luxurious hotels. The hotel's architecture is stunning. It's a renovated Edwardian mansion and you enter through a carriageway which leads you to a central courtyard which just seems like an oasis away from the hustle and bustle of that part of London. Inside is equally as beautiful. You enter through a rose gold gallery and then into the lobby which has got a modern black and white interior. A lot of the other five star hotels in London are way more traditional but I love the modern touches of this hotel. We only had time to drop off our bags before we had to head out again but had a quick sneak peek at our room. It was really big size in comparison to other hotels in London. It had a big bathroom which was all mirrored and a super soft queen size bed and lots of free space. They also gave me a small birthday cake and a box of chocolates which I thought was really cute. Um, we'll do another video of the full room tour so if you're interested in seeing more of the room and hotel make sure to subscribe. My next surprise was only a short distance from the hotel so we decided to walk seeing as it was a nice day. So we walked down Kingsway to Aldwych which is a nice walk, um, the architecture is really beautiful and you walk past lots of theatre shows which is always really cool. Um, but we headed to one of London's best afternoon teas, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory afternoon tea at One Aldwych. So I have a massive sweet tooth and also I loved the film when I was younger so this was the perfect treat for me. Um, I've also always heard such amazing things about this particular afternoon tea and now I can safely say it's one of the best, if not the best afternoon teas I've ever had. So the actual tea I had was the chocolate flavoured one, which I thought might be a novelty, but I'll go along with it. Um, but I was so surprised. It was actually really, really delicious. Like the book and the film, everything had a playful twist, so no normal boring sandwiches in sight. I loved every one of these savouries, um, in particular the beef and horseradish slider and also the salmon and beetroot macaron. Um, it was just so crazy and when you bit into it you expected it to be sweet um, but of course it was savoury instead but it was actually really really lovely. But of course this is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory so the main event is of course the sweet stuff. And look at this presentation, I was so impressed. Um, you can really see the theme come through in the sweets. Every cake is modelled on a particular part of the book and film, such as the blueberry tart, the violet marshmallow, the fabulous fluffy floss, the swudge milkshake mixed by waterfall, um, and it was all so good. We were completely stuffed. I would definitely recommend this afternoon tea in London. Afterwards we headed back to the hotel just for a quick change um, and then headed out for a drink. This is Oscar's Bar on Charlotte Street. It was really, really nice. Cocktails were gorgeous. And then straight to dinner, um, we went to Pied Altea. Um, I'm so sorry about that pronunciation, um, but it is a two star Michelin restaurant. And the reason why Joe took me here was because we are kind of flexitarian now. I'm not having much meat at all. And they were voted as the best vegan tasting experience. Plus, it's also the longest standing Michelin starred restaurant in London and the UK. So a pretty special treat. We've never had a full vegan tasting menu before, so I wasn't really sure what it would be like, but it was truly delicious. Um, what I particularly loved was that the vegetables were front and center of the dish and they were amazing. Again, it was a pretty nice night, so we decided to walk back to the hotel. 
um, because we were just truly stuffed after all the eating we had done that day. But of course I wasn't going to love that birthday cake that the Rosewood got me go to waste um, and I had that in bed by myself as Joe was sonked out. We didn't have anything planned for the next day so we just had a walk around Covent Garden and got brunch at this really cute spot actually called 26 Grains. It's in Nils Yard if you want to go. Um, it's got quite a local neighbourhood cafe feel to it, it's really cute. The food was really good. I got an egg sandwich and Joe got a BLT with halloumi on the side. Covent Garden is such a great area to just act like a tourist and have a walk around. There's always something going on, always something new, always something creative happening. We had some juices from a place called Fresh and Organic. Again, would really recommend the juices were super, super fresh. From Covent Garden, we then walked back to the Rosewood to pick up our bags before heading to the train station in King's Cross. It's a 20 minute walk to the station. Um, it's a really nice walk though. And we discovered this street, which was called Lamb's Conduit Street. And it was a really lovely neighborhood feel with lots of independent shops. We love the King's Cross area, there's always so much going on and there's lots of amazing food places and restaurants um, and shops, so we had a wander around before heading home. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to. Um, I think it's a really great itinerary for a birthday or any special occasion, that's why I wanted to share it. Um, if you like videos like this or you like more rec restaurants, recommendations, food reviews in London and other major cities and places, then please hit subscribe and support us.